I'm Anthony Crimmins. Space. And I'm Kyle Saunders. Final Frontier. And this is the Stick Star Space Show. It sure is, Kyle. It is the Stick Star Space Show, and this is our sixth episode. And this is one week. One week down, one month to go. Um, we've discussed a lot of different things in the first five episodes, but I think it's time to kind of bring it back, bring it back to where we're at. Uh, and we're we're locked in right now. We're locked in. So what does that mean? Um, it's all about controlling the controllables at this point. That's that's what you can do. Control the controllables. Um, we're going to delve into that a little bit. Uh, Kyle, what what do you think about controlling the controllables? How's week one been for you so far? Yeah, it's been good. Kind of uh, starting to settle into. A daily routine it's definitely different being locked down at the house um versus you know going to the office leaving the office driving home going to get to a field to practice like the days are definitely set up a whole lot different um one thing i've noticed is like how much how much driving actually on a day-to-day -day basis kind of kind of splits up my day um naturally so being here at the house the whole time um it was important to create the routine right and definitely took a little bit but we've been in it now and uh kind of settling in because it is completely different so you know i would just say creating a schedule for yourself right identifying the things that you want to get done in that day or you feel like you have to get done in that day school projects maybe chores around the house and then like something that's important to you personally to get done that day and then time blocking your day out from there creating the schedule and then uh you know trying to stay on that schedule to the best that you can and consistently get there so yeah the uh creating a routine super important uh, so that you can feel like you are taking advantage of your time. A lot of the, a lot of the kids out there, a lot of the players, all of the people watching this show that are players that are all watching our show, uh, you have to figure it out. You have to create your schedule up. It makes sense that you would have, I believe everybody's using Zoom at this point to some extent. Um, I think that school is probably different for everybody, whether it's public versus private how much time you get with each teacher. Um, I just know from how my nieces and nephews are dealing with it, that it's, it is different, it is stressful. Parents have to help administer a portion of this scheduling. So if you can help with that, if you can lock down your schedule, when you're going to get work done, when you're going to work out, how you're going to be productive, um, of course, you could just lock it in and do your work and then play video games for a substantial part of the day. But I would say that you're probably wasting some time, uh, wasting valuable time with a, what is essentially just a pause. We've been paused, right? It's a little different. So take advantage of this time and go ahead and start to create that routine. Uh, one of the pieces of that routine probably has to be working out for some of these guys, especially if they have aspirations of playing at the next level. Sure. There are most of them. I mean, pretty much all of you guys are mid season. You're in getting to mid season form and then the pause button hits. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your legs with you, um, keeping those strong and just staying in shape. Right. Um, staying in shape in the classroom, might as well crush it um, in the classroom right now. Be the best at adapting to the new systems and, you know, out-compete your classmates and, you know, take care of uh, business there because those of you that want to play at the next level, that's going to be the first barrier to entry um, at most of the institutions that you're looking to go to. So you have to have the grades and uh, even if you're not going to play at the next level, right, or your desire doesn't necessarily lay there, like school's in a good spot. You have more time now to complete your assignments than probably ever. Um, 
as far as like your day-to-day -day scheduling and places that you have to be, you have time to complete the work that's assigned. Might as well crush that work and do a good job. You know, it also goes into, you know, the physical side of the game. Um, like you said, working out, working on your stick, right? I mean, at this point, if uh, you're in the mid, you're a lacrosse player, this happens, you've had all of this time. If you're not working on your game, I mean, it's like, what are you doing? This is extra time. Um, you can put up more shots than you've ever put up on a cage. You know, um, you can hit the wall, challenge yourself, work on your offhand. I mean, there's so much that you can do from a stick work standpoint with the time that you've been given to that. You know, those are things you definitely want to uh, make sure you're taking advantage of in this pause period, like you said. Yeah, that can be your outlet. Uh, I made one mistake in high school uh, my sophomore year, and it was right around like March, April, and then I got grounded for the rest of the year. I made one mistake, and uh, parents put the pause button on me. So I essentially went to school and then worked out. That was the only thing I was allowed to do outside of the house was work out. There was no socializing. It was just working out, working on your stick. Uh, you can create that same routine right now. You can get a lot of work in. Um, so make sure you're taking advantage of it, whatever that might be. We're going to probably put together some workouts, whether it's physical or stick work or running workouts that we've used or found along the way that could be, you know, help you along this path, but you have time to get this thing done and improve because self-improvement right now, controlling the controllables, creating a routine, how do you improve self-improvement? Um, that's something that you really can take advantage of. Uh, another thing that you can definitely do, and this was when we were talking with some of our buddies, um, Coach Eric Skelly at Sacred Heart, he had a great, great quote that this isn't social distancing, right? This is physical distancing. Uh, a lot of you are social creatures. You enjoy talking. That's what you guys do. You go to school and you talk. You talk, 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 right? So that's kind of been ripped away from you to some extent. Uh, understand that socially, right? You don't have to distance yourself. You have to distance yourself physically because that's how the virus spreads. But from a socializing standpoint, you have to continue to communicate. You have to find a way to do that. Um, and if you guys ever need to communicate, Coach K, myself, uh, I'm sure any of our coaches were, were there for you. Not that you need it, but just understand that if that's ever something that you need, uh, we're there for you from a communication standpoint. Yeah, reach out to friends that maybe you haven't talked to, right, um, in a while. Reach out to family members that maybe you haven't talked to in a while, grandma, grandpa. Um, stay engaged in your family unit. There's a lot of people that look back and don't have this time. Um, and again, this is, it, it, you know, for all of the struggle that's coming out of this right now, there are some positives and I think that a lot of that are family units can be so much closer um, <laughs> once they get past the initial uh, running into each other all sure. day, every day for, yeah. you know, a month. But, you know, what can you get done in a month, Krim? Like a lot, right? How long does it take to form a habit where they say like 21 days, right? Well, we have a month. So what kind of habits, right, are going to be formed? in the next 30 days, right? If a habit takes 21, what habits can you create and break in this 30 day span? Um, you know, I think that that's actually a challenge worth, you know, taking on. Yeah, and documenting. I think you wanna document it. I have many journals, many, many leather bound books, okay? and writing all of them but over these 30 days what can you do and i would say for a lot of you be specific right figure something figure one thing out um i wouldn't say mastering fifa is going to be the best one although that is a great skill 
Uh, it's a skill that I wish I still possessed. Um, I've definitely given thought to doing that, but I can't. I can't break down. I have to figure something else out. Um, but I promise you, at the end of 30 days, good stuff is happening. Good stuff is already happening over here at the uh, the the crim the crimmins household. Um, I mean, we're we're running around. We've got the kiddo uh, trying to figure out the schedule. The kid kind of dictates the schedule, and then you work around it. But my wife works, I work, so we have to figure out how to work and have the kiddo all day. Um, and it's it's a challenge, but it's a great challenge. So you guys are being challenged in your own unique ways, and that's what it's all about. But in 30 days, you can get a lot of stuff down, and I would challenge you to write it down, set goals, uh, because you can really figure some cool stuff out in 30 days. And this is like Kyle was saying, this is a uncharted territory. This might not, I mean, the likelihood of us ever getting to do this again, hopefully is pretty slim. Um, so take advantage of this pause that's been thrown at us. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Take advantage of the pause. Um, it's been a week since the first show. Thank you for watching. A lot's happened in a week. Um, make sure to subscribe so that you can stay up with what continues to happen. Again, haven't even really, you know, gotten into the meat of what uh, the Stick Star Space Show, I think, is going to turn into. And the YouTube channel just in general, you know, I know I've been working over here on cutting up um, some video content that we'll be uh, putting back out there. It's, it's a little throwback flavor, I guess you could say. Um, tons of other video content that we're working on. Um, obviously, the box league. So there's a ton of different places the show can and will continue to go. Um, so I just want to say I appreciate you guys for taking the ride with us. Yeah, we're just getting warmed up. As one person said, at this point, all content is good content. So we're going to be, we're going to keep putting out that good content. Um, Stick Star Space Show. It's fun. We're just getting warmed up. Texas Box League. Getting warmed up. Texas Box board. League. Texas Box League's warming up. Should we talk about that? I don't know. I don't know if there's enough time. I think we'll just uh, let it, you know, let it marinate. A little marinate a little bit. Just let it simmer. Um, there's plenty to go on that. Uh, we'll have interviews. We'll have all kinds of stuff coming in the coming weeks. Uh, there's a lot to get done in this month. Um, so we're going to get her done. At Texas Box League on Twitter. At Texas Box League. Sticks our space show. I'm Anthony Crimmins. I'm Kyle Saunders. And we'll see you all real soon.